Hello there and welcome to the Advanced Ocean Shader Tutorial Series. In this series, I'm going to guide you step by step from scratch on uh, doing a good looking ocean for your projects. This tutorial is intended for intermediate to advanced users, uh, so I'm not going to cover the basics of the material editor and, and uh, its commonly used nodes and such. Uh, I'm going to assume that uh, you are familiar enough with the tool. Um, so, so this is the ocean that we'll be doing, and, uh, and the main features of this ocean are uh, procedural deep and shallow uh, water colors. Uh, what I mean by that is that um, uh, the, the colors of the ocean are not based on a texture, on a diffuse texture. It's just, it's just procedurally cr created. I can uh, pull this over here. This is the uh, material instance. I can, I can just show you uh, real quick. Um, I can change the color of the ocean to whatever I want. So this is fully under your control. I'm going to cancel. Um, uh, now by default, now this is the second feature which is that you need to, uh, uh, to use the uh, vertex painting tool to decide on where the shallow areas are. So by default, the ocean is all considered to be deep water. And let me just show you this real quick. You have this mesh paint here. I'm going to remove it so you can better see. So I'm going to select this and uh, okay, I'll start painting. So you can see I'm painting now the I'm painting shallow water. And this is all procedural. So that's how you decide. Uh, where the shallow areas are. It is better than using other uh, techniques which is the uh, depth pixel and the other stuff because it's not accurate 100% and this is a better way and cheaper way also. Saves a lot of uh, performance. Okay, what else? And we have uh, fake uh, subsurface scattering. You can see through the waves you know because the sun is here it's hitting the waves so you can see this nice uh, purplish color going on and the waves and uh, and uh, what we also have is uh, natural looking waves using only a single texture so all this blending you see right here is only using a single texture and I'm going to show you exactly how I was able to pull this off and uh, lastly uh, we have a simple uh, simple vertex shader that basically does this it's very simple not a big deal and that's it so in the next video I'm going to get started uh, stay tuned thank you